So, a question that none of you asked that Bobby and I are going to answer is what is it like to train in Bangkok for a day? Bobby and I are going to show you everything from using the public transportation system, the gym itself, a big supermarket on the way back, and then we're going to show you an awesome restaurant that Bobby and I both really enjoyed. We're going to break down all the prices for you. If you have any questions on the prices, hopefully this video will be able to answer it. If not, please leave a comment down below. But yeah, we're going to show you a little bit of what it's like moving around the city, how they like to train here, and some local cuisine on the way back. This will be a good representation of what a normal day training in Bangkok will be. You know, I feel like this is a pretty good representation of living in Bangkok. This is this is Bangkoky. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're in Sukhumvit. That's definitely not how you say that. It isn't. I mean, it sounds right to me, but I guarantee you, there's a whole bunch of Thais out there just like. Oh. <laughs> Bobby and I are not good at the Thai language. We've asked several Thais how to even say thank you. They'll be coaching us and we'll say it and they'll be like taking out their phone and be like say it one more time let me record this. So we don't think we're getting any better. It happened to me yesterday. So we apologize for all of our pronunciations but we're gonna head over to Bangkok Phi Lab and we'll take you on the journey with us. So first stop I'm gonna show you guys is our hotel. It's conveniently located on a street that I have no idea what the name is. Sukhumvit 22. So what's cool about this one is room start at around 690 baht. We'll have the currency counter right here as well as the conversion to USD for any Americans watching this, alright? So, let's head on down to the SkyTrain. to the station, bought a couple of tickets. Both the tickets I believe are 62 baht, which is not that expensive, very reasonable. We're about to head on over. We can't talk too much because we only have about 20 minutes to get to the gym, so Bob and I have got to hustle. You got anything? Nope, except tickets. It's really funny to watch me and Bobby, who are in you know, all geared up for Muay Thai, looking completely different than everyone else. <laughs> yeah, we get a lot of weird looks. Wearing these Muay Thai shorts, the reaction from tourists is like, what are they doing? But when a Thai sees this, it's like, all right, some tourists that are uh, bracing the call. Yeah, getting some training. One guy was even like, Muay Thai. <laughs> Just in time before everyone starts warming up, people already jumping rope. Costs about 600 each just for a drop in rate, which is normal. Most of them have been about 500. I think mainly in Bangkok, most classes run for about an hour and a half. Unless you're doing MMA, those classes usually tend to only be about an hour, but they're the same price. That's the sound of uh, Muay Thai starting. Uh, <laughs> time to go. Oh boy. This is one of the lighter ones. 
so much. Well, just finished up here at the gym, did a little bit of clench work, and then we got into a little bit of sit-ups and push-ups and teamwork exercises. And that was a lot of fun, a really good way to end the workout. It was a really good time. I'm a noob to the whole Muay Thai clench, and they took it easy on me. They didn't throw me on my butt too much, so one of the guys I was going with went super light, but he went for the headlock super hard, and it always caught me by surprise that everything else was so light. So I started doing it back to him, and eventually I just like hugged him, and we both fell on one of them, which was kind of funny. <laughs> I was wondering what that loud thud was. <laughs> but overall, they were great training partners. I had a lot of fun. Well, that wraps about this one up. We're headed home. Two stinky Leonard bros on a, <laughs> on a commuter train. Be thankful you can't smell through the screen. <laughs>So Bobby and I discovered this mall slash market the last time we came through here. So we're gonna go in and get some protein shakes. This is probably the quietest supermarket store thing that you'll ever hear. On the inside, last time we were walking by a produce section and Charlie's like, how quiet it is. And I looked over and there was like 50 to 100 people and we could hear the cash registers on the other side of the building because nobody was saying a word. We were by far the loudest ones and like after that, we started like talking to each other like, but I hope it's like that now because it was it was pretty surreal coming from America. See how quiet that is? It's not as quiet as it was before and there wasn't as loud of music playing either. You still hear the beeper from the scanners though. It's surreal how quiet this is for the amount of people that are in the grocery store right now. You don't even hear anybody unless they're like talking right next to you. It's, it's insane. I swear it was quieter last time. It's still pretty quiet right now. It's still pretty quiet. I don't actually want that one. <laughs> I don't want that one. That one. <laughs> you know what I mean? I set up this shot and realized how crazy Bobby and I look. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Bobby and I are here in the food court that's outside of the Thai Walmart, I guess. What do you call it? I don't know. I don't know what to call it anymore. It's all Mark. Thai Mark. <laughs> that makes more sense. This is the quietest he has ever been in his entire life. True. This is also a crowded area, and it's not too loud. So Bob and I got a couple of protein shakes. These came out to 89 baht, but our trip was a little bit more expensive because on the way out we noticed this guy. Look how well he's going together. Bob and I cannot resist the desserts that they have here, and it makes losing weight so hard. It's hard because it makes it easy to rationalize with myself. It's like, you're in Thailand, when are you gonna be able to experience this? You need to try new things. And it's a good argument, just not to the extent that I've been taking it. <laughs> Especially right after Muay Thai, you know, we get hungry and you're like, that is one good looking pizza. When have we ever had pizza before? We'll never have time, we'll never be able to have that pizza right now, right here again. <laughs> we'll never have Domino's ever yeah. again. Strawberry chocolate tastes exactly like what you would think it would taste like. <laughs> Yeah, but now we know. <laughs> Let's get five more. <laughs> See if those taste the same. Mr. Bobby getting tickets. <laughs> yes. idea how to say the name of this station but we just made it to the station that we're supposed to get to pom pom close enough i just want everybody to know that we took a 23 mean test and bobby's genetically disposition to be lost all the time you would think that was like okay that's my weakness so i need to work on it nope i have an excuse never think about directions ever again thankfully i got google maps on my side you can never go to a place that doesn't have cell service i'm this guy we'll be perpetually lost with bobby <laughs> Why do I follow you? Because I follow Google. Oh, and one last thing, the fare back was also 62 baht. When you get the same shot at different times of the day, that's to show the passage of time. And you only do that when you're a master at film of video topography. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs>
I love getting coconuts, man. It's some good stuff. I got the chicken cashew nut. I got the same thing for lunch at the same place. Oh my god, whatever sauce they put in this is so good. Oh, I'm about to burn my face off. Round two of the letter bros burning their mouth. <laughs> Mm. Healthy food never tastes so good, man. In all honesty, though, they do put some nice, like, accoutrement with the chicken, add some crunch, add some flavor, and they season it. If you like and subscribe to this channel, I make Bobby order the most spicy item on the menu. I do it, too. I don't handle spice well. So everything included was 540 baht. We'll include the USD conversion right here, because my brain no work good for math stuff. <laughs> Charlie and I just downed that. It was delicious. And now we are heading back to the hotel and hopefully we'll still be awake in time to wrap up this video. <laughs> oh man, the Thai people are so friendly, man. Bob and I are crashing really hard. But we did want to get you the grand totals for everything that we spent today. And to be completely honest with you, we are not doing it the cheapest way possible. Bobby and I are what we like to call bougie backpackers. <laughs> Let's go ahead and break down the cost. So the hotel was 690 baht, and fortunately it does include breakfast. Next, we had lunch, which we didn't film today, but ended up being around 480 baht. The train station, those tickets cost 128 for each of us, and then the training was 1,100 baht. Then after after the training we got those protein shakes that came out to 90 baht and then to round it all off with dinner was 540 baht. That gives us a grand total of 3,028 baht if I did my calculations correctly which like we said definitely not the cheapest you can do Thailand. You can go to Thailand for extremely cheap but I like the way that we're doing it. We're going to a lot of different gyms so we're paying the drop-in fee and we're staying at decent enough hotels and we're eating good. Our biggest expense for today was the training but that drops significantly significantly once you can commit to a gym you pay like for a month or three months if you're coming to Thailand and you're looking to train my advice is still go to a whole bunch of gyms find one that you like and find a trainer that you like and then commit to that gym and you will cut your expenses down significantly or do you have anything else you want to say just make sure your shoes are tied and <laughs> don't let your meat loaf <laughs> shout out to T-Ferg that's CSO man Anyways, <laughs> we hope you really enjoyed this vlog. We had a blast making this vlog for you guys. If you have any other questions in regards to budgeting or training or anything traveling to Thailand related, please comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'm going to make Bobby work for a massage parlor.